Hello, I'm Deb Ashby and I'm a TAP certified MOS accredited IT trainer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to construct some basic formulas in Excel using common functions. Formulas are the real power behind Excel and knowing how to use basic functions is a skill every potential Excel guru should have in their wheelhouse. From adding up numbers in a column quickly, to finding the average of a list of numbers, functions are incredibly useful and will save you so much time. However, many people confuse the term formula with function. A function is a preset formula in Excel that is intended to carry out specific calculations in a cell. Sum is a function. Average is also a function. A formula is any calculation in Excel and formulas are constructed using one or more functions. Remember, all formulas must begin with an equals sign. This tells Excel that you're about to type a formula. Let's take a look at some of the most common functions and how we can use them to perform calculations. In this video, we're going to start working with some basic functions and construct some simple formulas. All functions can be found on the formulas ribbon in one of the function groups. Functions are categorized by type. If you aren't sure what you're looking for, you can jump into the functions dialog box and search for a function. Click on the insert function button and type in the name of the function, in this case sum, and click go. And you'll see it's the first one in the list. If you aren't exactly sure what function you're looking for, you can type in a sentence describing what you want to do and Excel will display the functions that closest match your search criteria. Functions are what enable you to write formulas and we're going to write one now. We're going to do a basic sum calculation to get the total of the numbers listed above. Equals tells Excel you're typing a formula and then we enter our function, in this case sum. Excel will provide a list of functions that match so you can double click to select. The argument for the function needs to go within parentheses so you can select your cell range, close the parentheses and hit enter to get your result. Let's do the same and work out the average of the same numbers. Type equals, and this time the function is average. Double click for the open parentheses and select the cell range and close your parentheses and press enter. Min will display the lowest value in the range selected. Remember, you can utilize the function dialog box to assist with any calculation. So if I search for min, I get a helpful dialog box. And from here, I can select that same range of data and click on OK. It's essentially doing exactly the same thing as what we've been doing. Max will do the opposite and display the highest value in the range of selected cells. And this time, we're going to use AutoSum. This will try and guess the cells I want to select, so I'm going to modify it slightly and then hit enter. And finally, count will count the number of cells in the range I have selected. So let's type in count, select our cell range once again, close that off, and there we go with our result of 10. Remember, you can always toggle sum, average, min, max, and count in the status bar to be able to see these results without performing the calculation. I'm going to turn on count and then when I highlight a range of cells you can see the results of those. 